we talk about bioeconomy, what we have in mind is an economy which has as one component a strong but sustainable and intensive agriculture, uh, which can produce both the food we need as well as input to bio-based industries. The, the identity of industrial biotechnology, which we've tried to invent over the last few years, is actually something which is not in the public consciousness. We need to go back to understand that farmers are business people who grow products for markets uh, in a sustainable way while taking care of the land. But the first purpose of farmers is to grow things, uh, not to be uh, tourist guides. This tire is special because it was made using bioisoprene. Bioisoprene is a key material used to make polyisoprene, which is a synthetic rubber that gets used in making uh, a large number of tires and supplements natural rubber, which comes from rubber trees. The only sustainable way to have high energy density liquid fuels is through biotechnology, bio-based fuels, and then the bio-based chemicals or bioproducts that come with them. There is no other way. The increasing price of oil over the last five, six, seven years has meant that the cost of feedstocks has gone up for the chemicals industry. What that means is that there is, because there is so narrow margins within the chemicals industry, that there's very little room for maneuver. When you're at the same time, you actually constrain the, the uh, sources of capital for the industry, you've got double trouble. The biggest challenge in the short term is really to get uh, uh, now plants built, uh, large scale biorefineries built and optimized. And in the long term to ensure that the biomass is grown uh, uh, by farmers all across Europe. CAP should be about agricultural productivity. It should be about looking at the agricultural industry in Europe and making it sustainable and productive and competitive. That's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about subsidies. So if you want to do that, we're opening a new market for agriculture for farmers in Europe, and that should be welcome and worked upon. I don't think we've really gotten serious, truly serious yet, about the great threat that our, our dependence on petroleum is to economic security, to national security, to climate security. Uh, and maybe, maybe the European view is that we're further ahead in that, but I, I think we're still not serious enough there. Now the next question is to have also policies which would be well integrated, to have funding schemes which would be integrated. And uh, this is definitely one of the steps we see from European side that needs to be uh, now put in place for bioeconomy. The main stumbling block is the invisibility of what we're doing. Literally, because it's the glue that holds everything together, you don't actually see it within the, the context. So we're developing products which the general public, uh, and the media, and everyone else, actually fail to recognize as being there. There is a challenge for Europe to turn research into products. There's a gap there. We need much more work in terms of um, uh, having demonstration plants that are funded. In today's uh, industrial biotechnology world, uh, there's a great deal of promise. And the challenge for the uh, companies that are in play uh, need to make sure that they have the discipline and the wherewithal to not only have the talk, but be able to deliver the uh, products and the processes that our societies are expecting.